talking about solutions, not everything dissolves in water, for example. And the factors that affect solubility, one general rule is like dissolves like, which, as any general rule, always has exceptions, but it's useful as a starting point. If you remember your Lewis structure for water, you know that water is a polar molecule because of the electron geometry around the central oxygen being tetrahedral and those lone pair electrons being about 109 degrees apart from each other makes the molecule polar. If you try to dissolve a chemical like toluene, which is this Lewis structure or this bond line formula, you'll notice that toluene is made up of only carbons and hydrogens and carbon hydrogen bonds are nonpolar covalent bonds so a molecule like toluene is nonpolar water and toluene do not make very good solutions if you try to dissolve some toluene in water what will happen is you'll get a layer of the less dense chemical on the top and the more dense chemical on the bottom because they don't form a homogeneous solution ethanol does dissolve in water. Here's the bond line formula for ethanol and the Lewis structure. Notice it has a very similar structural feature as water. This part of ethanol is polar where the carbon and hydrogen end is nonpolar. Experimentally, any amount of ethanol completely dissolves in any amount of water. Those two chemicals are called miscible. So the polar part of the ethanol is overwhelming the nonpolar part and ethanol dissolves completely in water. However, if you made this nonpolar chain longer and longer, what you observe is less and less of the chemical dissolves in water. Similar Lee, benzene does not dissolve very much in water. Here's the bond line formula, only C's and H's. Benzene is nonpolar. So if you wanted to dissolve benzene and make a solution, you would use toluene as the solvent, for example, because this nonpolar solvent has very similar attractive forces compared to the benzene.